it's come to my attention that I've owned an Olympus OM-1 like twice. So this is my second one. I picked this up for $50 uh, instead of buying food. And I think it was worth it, even though I haven't touched it uh, in three weeks. So now that I'm touching it, I'm going to tell you about it after my AC shuts up. I'm just kidding. I'm just going to blow right through it. So the Olympus OM-1 was released in 1972. Um, and in 1974, they released the OM <laughs> the OM-1 MD for a motor drive. They have a little nice hatch down here on the bottom that allows you to st stick a uh, film wind thing on it uh, so you can blow through those uh, 36 exposures as fast as possible. I don't have one, so I don't really care. Um, it's, it's a really standard mechanical camera. There's not a lot of features to it. Uh, there's the rewind release button. It lets you to spool your film back up when it's ready to be removed. Um, it's got a mirror lockup that allows you to do something. I'm, I'm sure that's important to somebody, probably for uh, long exposure or bulb. I'm never really going to mess with that. Um, it was generally paired with a 50mm f1.8, but they had several lenses as I mush mouth my way through it. The lenses have a built-in exposure depth of field preview button built into the sign. Also, let me see that this thing functioned properly before I purchased it. There is, you know, the ubiquitous self-timer here on the side, um, and then you, know, you pop off. It's, it's, it's a camera. It works. My hands are sweaty. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting sick of fumbling my way through this. I'm very good at it. So up here on the top, uh, similar to other cameras, is a knob. Unsimilar, um, it's an ASA setting knob. You have this little button here. It releases it. And that little notch right there on the side of the shutter button. Let's see if I can get in. Can you punch in? Can you punch in? Come on, punch it. So you line up that notch with whatever film you have, and, uh, and you're, you're good. You're away. Over here on the side, you've got the exposure meter uh, on-off switch. Now, I don't have a battery, so it's always off. Uh, it makes it nice and easy for me. Over here on the side, you've got your flash bulb uh, setting thing. So there's X flash, P, and F. Those are all ratings that the old bulbs used to have. Um, X is what you generally use today. It goes up to, uh, like if you were to attach a modern flash unit to this, uh, the X is what you'd use. It goes up to 60, uh, 60, uh, 60, 60th of a second. That's, that's the word I'm looking for. And, uh, yeah, it lets you sync to the flash. So you actually can use the flash as intended. So, um, this camera has no history to me whatsoever. Uh, I owned one. I really liked it. I got the OM, uh, OMD EM5 when it first came out, uh, when I got it used, and I liked it. I liked everything about it. Uh, this one has this weird thing that the other camera I had didn't. You just remove the hot shoe mount, and you know, you got this super sleek looking manual camera. So I could possibly equate this to something like the Pentax K1000 in terms of use cases today. It is a very good camera to use if you're an individual that is attempting to learn photography. Nowadays, you just walk up to the store, you purchase whatever you want. You know, Most people are going to go buy a Canon Rebel. I'd highly recommend to not to do that, but who am I? I'm some dude on the internet with a nice camera I get to stare at all day uh, while I go to my manual job and don't actually engage in anything creative whatsoever. So you don't have to listen to me. You have to listen to your heart. Uh, my heart says that film's really cool, so I, I play with it as often as my finances can allow me. So for a measly $50, I picked this up, and I brought it home, and I've cherished it ever since. And I can wholeheartedly say that if you get the opportunity to get an original, you know, all metal, metal gears, metal everything, Olympus camera, uh, is that you should 100% hop on it immediately. And you'll you'll understand. The the Zuko lenses <laughs> Jesus, that was terrible to listen to, I'm sorry. Are some of the best in its class. Um now is about the time a normal person would show you the pictures that they've 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 sent through the little eye hole there. Uh unfortunately I don't currently have it within the budget to deal with these absolutely ludicrous prices on film nowadays. So I just have this really cool camera to caress and to cherish and to stare at and to ogle over. And uh, I hope that you like looking at it as well. Because that's, that's it. That's the video.